What's up guys, welcome back. The cold weather is rolling in and that means it's soup season and boy do I have a good one for you today. I'll be showing you how to make lobster bisque, but before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we're gonna get the party started with a delicious lobster stock that's gonna take this soup to the next level. In order to do that, we need some fresh herbs, we need some celery, some onions, some carrots, all the delicious vegetables or mirepoix that goes into a good stock. We're also gonna use some lobster shells for this as well. No need to really peel the carrots or even peel the skin off the onion. We're gonna add all that to our stock. That's gonna make a nice color for our stock as well. We also need some garlic, so go ahead and smash up a few garlic cloves. As always, all the specific measurements and ingredients are provided for you in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. We're gonna use four large lobster tails that we got from Wegmans that are pre-cut for us. That was nice of them to do for us at the seafood counter, but if you can't find them pre-cut, no big deal. Just grab some nice sharp kitchen scissors and get it done yourself. Now, once you make that cut with the kitchen scissors, you're gonna use your knife like you see right here to cut the lobster tail in half. You wanna check for the vein and make sure you remove that. Make sure the lobster tails are nice and clean. Once you got them nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our stock. But first, we're gonna roast our veggies and our lobster in a 400 degree oven. So we're gonna add this to a baking sheet going to add a little bit of avocado oil as well just to make sure that the herbs and the veggies don't scorch in the oven once we make a nice bed for our lobster tails we're going to add those tails right on top you can hit them with a little salt and pepper and pop them right into the oven the roasting process just enhances the flavor a lot for our stock and that's what we're going for maximum flavor here so pop that in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes while we wait for that to roast we're going to go ahead and prep our veggies for the soup so we're going to peel and clean some carrots we're using about three carrots for this we're going to dice them up nice and fine don't worry about how precise you do this though guys because we're going to use an immersion blender to make sure we blend everything until it's nice and smooth so no worries there, just cut them into matchsticks like you see right here and then dice them up. We're gonna do that same thing with the celery and we're gonna dice up our onion as well. If you're entertaining company while you're making this dish and you wanna impress them and make it sound like you know what you're talking about, tell them this is your mirepoix, which is a blend of celery, onions, and carrots. All jokes aside though, guys, lobster bisque is definitely something that's a crowd pleaser. It's a very impressive dish and it's a lot easier than you probably think. So that's what I'm here to do today is show you how easy it is to make this. And one of the best ways to make your life easier in the kitchen is to get all your prep work done up front, which we have just done by prepping our stock and our veggies. Speaking of the stock, everything is roasted to perfection. We're gonna go ahead and remove the lobster meat from the shell. We're gonna save that lobster meat, pop that in the fridge until we need it for our soup. Everything else is getting put into our pot to make our stock. First and foremost, we gotta cut the lobster up into bite-sized pieces. That's gonna go into our soup. Once you cut it up into the pieces that you like, you're gonna pop that in the refrigerator to chill out until we make the rest of our soup. You don't wanna add the lobster meat too early to the soup because then it's gonna go overcook and get kinda rubbery. And that's not what we're going for. Nobody likes rubbery lobster. Another quick reminder, guys, that all the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. There is our prepped lobster meat that is going into the fridge and everything else is going into our Dutch oven to make our lobster stock. So go ahead and scrape all of that out. You can run some cold water over top of that and pour that into the pot as well. Fill it up with some water and then we're gonna add some bay leaves, a little more thyme, bring that to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes to extract all that delicious flavor from the vegetables and the lobster shells, leaving behind a fantastic lobster stock that is gonna to add tons of flavor to your lobster bisque. So what's important to do now is go ahead and strain that stock, leaving behind all that deliciousness. We're gonna call that liquid gold and that's gonna go into our lobster bisque. This recipe is absolutely delicious, guys. Can't wait for you guys to try it. Take a look at that. You can jar that up and put that in the freezer to last a couple months, or you can put it in the fridge and it'll last a week or two. As you can see, we're using the same Dutch oven that we made our stock in. That's important because we wanna keep all that flavor that's in the pot. We're gonna add some butter, a little avocado oil, and we're gonna saute our vegetables. We're working over medium heat here. We just wanna soften up those veggies. We're gonna add a little bit of flavor by going in with my all-purpose seasoning. That's a blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in my description box. So season up those veggies with whatever you want, whether it's my seasoning or your favorite seasoning, it doesn't matter. We're gonna scrape the bottom, make sure we get everything up off the bottom of the skillet. All that flavor needs to be in our soup. And we're gonna continue to sweat those down until they look like this. They're nice and translucent and tender. And then we're going in with one tablespoon of Better Than Bouillon lobster base. This is really gonna kick up the lobster flavor. We're also going in with one tablespoon of tomato paste. So go ahead and give that a mix. Make sure everything is well combined. Your house is gonna be smelling absolutely amazing at this point. 
And now we're going in with a tablespoon or so of garlic paste. You could also use fresh garlic for this as well, whatever floats your boat. Oh man, that looks good. That, my friends, is the foundation of a good soup right there. So once everything turns into like a paste-like consistency, it's about time to deglaze the pot because we need to get up all that fond off the bottom. But first we're going in with our all-purpose flour. You wanna cook the raw flour taste off. Takes about a minute or two. There we go. Now we got that paste-like consistency that we're looking for. That's gonna thicken up our lobster bisque. And now my friends, it's time to deglaze. We're going in with one cup of Chardonnay or any dry white wine will work here. You could use sherry wine as well. Or if you don't wanna use wine or alcohol at all in your cooking, you could just use a little bit of that stock that we made. Increase that heat to bring it up to a boil and then we're going in with our lobster stock from earlier. You wanna bring that up to a boil and then reduce it down to a simmer. Everything will be well incorporated and your bisque will start to thicken up. Next, you're gonna add in a little fresh time just to add a little bit more flavor to the party let that boil away for a few minutes until those veggies get nice and tender once they do get tender we're gonna fish out that time or struggle to fish it out there we go there's that last bit nice job Matt all right so once your veggies are nice and tender it's time to break out the immersion blender and blend everything until it's nice and smooth smoother than this holiday weekend happy new year's everyone or new year I should say I don't know why I always put the s on the end of new year so forgive me for that but you want to blend this until it's nice and silky smooth and luxurious like a lobster bisque should be nice beautiful color oh man that looks like heaven i wish i could jump in there for a swim say it with me guys looking good all right now it's time to go in with the heavy cream we're going to add a little bit of creaminess to the party this is going to kick things up even to another level that my friends is lobster bisque you want to mix to combine until everything is well incorporated now we're going to finally go ahead and add back in that lobster meat from the refrigerator you want to save a little bit of lobster meat for presentation purposes to garnish or plate on top of your soup because there's nothing worse than going out to eat paying 15 dollars for a bowl of lobster bisque and realizing there's only one piece of lobster meat in there that's not how we get down though we're going to add a little bit of worst word in the world sauce just to bring some umami to the party you want to mix that in and then we're going to season to taste make sure that we got the flavor profile right where we want it You can add a little heat if you want by adding some cayenne or some crushed red pepper flakes. Make sure you taste as you go and adjust accordingly. This is coming out absolutely perfect though. I'm going in with just a pinch of salt because I felt like it needed it, but it's totally up to you. You can taste it and adjust as you need to. Now my friends, it's time to plate this up. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Gotta add a little chive to the party for a pop of color and so you guys will click on that thumbnail. You can see the steam just coming off of there. I need a spoon to dig in because I can't wait any longer. Going in for the taste test. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's see what we got. Oh, man, that's good. Nothing like a good spoon drop recipe. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.